Right, good morning. If you um, saw my blog post yesterday, which I believe was the 4th of May, I talked about a new platform that I've been invited to join and there was a link to that platform. So this morning, I've made a quick video for them about my next class, which will be listed quite soon. And basically, um, I was showing them things that you could create in that class that have been created in past classes. And this was one of the things along with this and along with this. Um, so keep an eye out on my blog for that class. If you, Especially if you missed out on the last one that I had to cancel because of a family illness, okay? But basically, I love this book, I love it. It's a 100% cloth book, um, samples all mounted with a header mount, stitch pieces. And then on part of this book, I'm a big fan of the reverse of my work. That doesn't bother me. I don't mind seeing that. And I don't mind seeing that on other people's work because it's evidence. It's evidence of your, the time you put into this, the devotion you put into this, the skill or non-skill, whichever you think is a bit of a mess. Um, but it's just your presence. That's the recognition of your presence. And that's how I see the reverse. So I think the reverses are very often maligned and disregarded and viewed negatively so in this book i started to embellish the reverses okay um some of them i've got buttonhole stitch on da, 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 right here so the top of that has got buttonhole stitch and these are added to the reverse these little pom-poms just to kind of say Hello reverse, I know people ignore you, they don't like you, they want you hidden, but me personally, I love you and I'm going to give you a little bit of extra attention because I don't want you to feel neglected, okay? So that's the purpose of this video. Now I've noticed on this one, here, this is ripe for buttonhole stitch, but I damp stretch my work. If you've done any of my classes, you'll know about that, but the thing about damp stretching is you're left with pin marks. Now, very remiss of me, I've left those there. I should have trimmed that. So what I'm going to do is trim that, remove those pin marks, and then I'm going to buttonhole across the top of here. So I'm saying, good morning, reverse. Don't feel unwanted, because I want you, and I want you to have a little bit of my time. Okay, so I've trimmed that. I've got a sharp needle, cotton broader, and I'm going to start buttonholing that on camera, okay? Um, I'm not saying I'll finish it on camera because I don't want you to fall asleep. So I'm going to come up there, okay, for my first thing. And then just catch this edge of this piece, cut that tail off. I'm not going to pierce the fabric that's on the front. <coughs> Excuse me, I'm getting a cold, like cough, ridiculous. I'm not going to, like I say, pierce the front piece of fabric. I'm literally just going to buttonhole this edge. Now, I always do two rows of buttonhole. So I will go along here once and then I will come back and buttonhole into the loops I'm creating now. Okay. And I'm literally just catching this bit. I'm not going through to the front, okay? Um, and then because I've done this, I know, because I know myself how I am, I'm going to want to do that as well. And I'm going to want to do that as well, but that's fine. I don't mind that at all. So people in the future, when I'm no longer here, will either think, oh, that's amazing because she's worked on the back, or they'll say, that woman's insane. Why has she done that? And what's going on with my thread? So, I won't be here to know what they say. But either way, I'm fulfilling my own satisfaction, my own wishes. And that's the most important thing with anything like this. So that's that. I won't go all the way along because it'll take too long and I don't want to send you to sleep. But I will speak to you now about doing the second row, just in case you're not aware of that and how to approach that. So you'll need a blunt needle because you're going to be going through these loops and you don't want to shred your thread. So I've got a blunt cross stitch needle here. Okay. I'll 
I'll just thread it up. It's a bit raggy this thread. Sometimes you buy it and it's not wound in the best way and it makes it raggy, which is very annoying. I know we're all um, fallible and the people that are winding it or the machines can have a bad day, but <coughs> it's not good. It's not good. So what I will do for the next row is come up next to the first stitch and then literally just go through the loop that I created in that first run. Okay. Now some of them might have slipped underneath, but that's all right. I'll find it and go through it. Okay, so I'm not piercing any cloth here at all. Literally just going through the loop. Now I'm tempted to pull in, but I think you get my gist anyway. Um, so that's what will happen with this. Two rows across there, and then like I said, I'm going to be compelled to do this bit and this bit. So I'll leave it at that, just a quick chat. Um, and I, So I got up this morning, no idea I was gonna do this, but because I made that other video um, for the new platform, I thought I need to do that. So my days develop, sometimes not as the plan to develop, but that doesn't matter. That really doesn't matter. I just get so much joy out of everything. Even, I mean, I think this was made five, six, seven, eight, nine years ago, I can't remember. But I still get joy from handling it and looking at it and I'm inspired by it for other pieces of work. Okay, have a lovely Sunday.